Hey guys, alright, um, I was going to clean up a bit, but you know what? Stuff it. Okay, um, first off, went to town and got myself some medium, medium CO glue, because thin stuff was just a tad too thin, and of course, I went to town, what did I go to town for? Um, oh, that's right, yeah. Finally, bit the bullet, and got some tomato putty and walked out with the glue and some panel line except uh, yeah and um, those that were present at the chat I also got this one forty eight crate and yes so I now have so what have I got I've got zero I've got zero crate F4 F and PBY oh and the scratch build that we all know about but uh, yeah so uh, figure without destroying the box because I don't want to destroy the box. Let's get into this. Hang on guys, just give me a second. Ah, more fingers. Actually no, more thumbs, no fingers. Open sesame, please. Ah. So, yeah. And um, I've also dragged out the plans for the HMAS Victory that Brian really wanted to have a look at because I've just been on live chat with him, watching him build his nice, pretty little plastic one. And uh, we were joking about him pulling his hair out when he goes to do plank on frame, like I've got with my 1 in 75 Victory. So this is the first look inside the new one. That actually, ooh, I can go canopy open. Well, if I don't have pilots, I'm just might. Um, yes, okay. Fair bit of detail on the inside. One piece wing on the lower side. Interesting, it's not bad. And, oh, lots of numbers, awesome. And, yeah. If you actually look, she was in the carrier attack bomber group that was at Pearl Harbor and uh, part of the second wave, which means uh, if I can figure out exactly which number that E1311 is, which I think might be the Akagi, if so, she was at Coral Sea and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt and drag, we're laughing. Alright, well. I'm going to leave that at that because this one, being the last one I got, will be the last one to get built. Because the, uh, the zero will be going after that, after I finish the F4F. So that can go on my stash, which is now growing immensely. So, um, <laughs> and all the empty beer cartons as well. Alright, now I don't know how I'm going to do this guys, I can try, but um, these are my plans. You know what, I'm going to pause this and I'll be back because I need to set up something better. Alright guys, hang on. Alright, here you go Bernie, um, that's both sheets, just the rigging side alone. So. That there, and oh, by the way, these are one and one scale. So, what you see is how big it is. So, there's the hull, there's the plants, and just to throw some comparison in, there's me, me one and two hundred Bismarck, there's the pearl, Titanic in the background. So, yeah these sheets are massive and very very detailed so 
Yeah, um, I mean, hell, Ryan, if, uh, Ryan, if you want, um, any info on rigging for yours, um, pretty sure I can oblige because each line is numbered and each number corresponds with a number on the hull. So, yeah, and I'm saying they're that big, there's two sheets. So there's your bow sprit, there's your four mast, your main, and then your mizzen. Alright, give us a sec, and um, yeah, and uh, I know you've surpassed me, Bernie, but yeah, that's that's my hull. And I don't know if you remember, but I did a, a video of the jig and all that, so yeah, I've literally, she is locked into place. I can pull it out, it is a pain in the ass, but I can do it, but that just keeps my frames and all my ribs and everything nice and square and plumb and that way I can do some of the planking to strengthen it up, get it rigid, and then I can pull it off the jig, finish her up, and then, yeah, Bob's your uncle, finish your aunt. Alright, give us a sec, and I'll flip these plans around. Alright guys, back again. Just so you got some idea of scale, that is a 1 in 72 scale Mustang. This here is the full plans, one-on-one, -on -one of my victory. So uh, you can see that little plane down the bottom there, that's how big she's going to be. I don't think I am going to have a case big enough. So Bernie, you're complaining about cases, well, right, that takes, that's a that's an entertainment unit that takes one of them big old fat TVs that it just more or less completely friggin covers. Like I said, I can use my plans for a tablecloth, so yeah. This thing is friggin' impressive. I mean, this is one of my bucket list ships. Uh, the other bucket list ship was the Bismarck, which I already built. And I've got this one. I also, oh, the Titanic, that was a bucket list as well. And the, um, another one that I would like to do is the HMAS Hood. And, um, yeah, if you if you don't if you haven't figured it out, I have got a thing about doing famous ships and those that have had great loss of life. So it's more of a, a remembrance thing for me. But my holy grail would be to do one of the most famous Australian warships of World War Two, and that would have to be the HMAS Sydney, number two, lost with all hands in a battle with a German uh, raider. So, um, mind you, the raider lost as well, but yeah, Sydney went down hard. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'll get this uploaded and get it sent off. Um, besides that, hang on a sec, I'll swing these around. But, uh, oh, sorry, going this way first. I used some little scraps of timber like that and some it bit filly pieces of styrene and hang on we're swinging I have built and completed a pair of where are we here we are rudders I know you can't see them too well there we go to be mounted to me hull so yeah they'll I'll get mounted in there ish sort of thing so might do a bit of that tonight but anyway all right guys I'll leave it at that um, besides that not much else has been done but um, yeah so there you go Bernie told you she was a big one all right mate later